But in his deadly peril, Captain Midnight courageously exposes himself to the wrath of Ivan Shark. He plans a trick to capture the master criminal, but Shark sees through the device and provides a deadly retaliation. Clear the field. Coming in for an emergency landing. I have to land with a load of bombs. Emergency, clear the field. All right, signing off. Take a force of men and crash it. And sacrifice Chuck? Not a chance. Atta boy, Cap. Quiet, Icky. Be patient, Major. All right, I'll wait. But you'll have to do something to quiet Edwards. He put up a terrible yell about being moved. And Joyce is afraid of another shock. I can't handle him. I'll go right over. Where are they hidden? Well, Mud will show you. And how? It's an empty joint. Icky. Now look, Major, don't worry. We'll beat them yet. Well, I'm beginning to doubt it. And hurry back. Come on, bud. I'll get you over there in three shakes of a lamb's tail. Bye-bye, Mage. Mage? Thanks for the lift. I'm all right from here. They have a phone. Hello? Major Steele speaking. Major, this is Chuck Ramsey. Well, you got away all right. By the skin of my teeth. Is Captain Albright there? No, he just left. Where are you? At a grocery store at 208th and Turnpike Road. I know plenty where the Sharks hideout is and everything. Fine, my boy. You stay right there under cover. I'll pick you up myself. Swell, Major. I won't move an inch away from this spot. Yes, sir? Albright's man has escaped. Says he can lead us right to the hideout. I'm going to bring him in myself. It's too bad Captain Albright left before this news came in. He'll likely return before I do and have him wait. 
This time, we're going to strike in earnest. I hope so, sir. Of course, the makeup is perfect, but coming to government headquarters is too much, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. Follow orders. Hold it, Borgman. Look at that. Now stay awake. If everything goes right, I should be out in five minutes. I won't be long again. I just want to smooth down Mr. Edwards and reassure Joyce. Now, I don't know about the first, but that last job would be a pleasure. Icky, keep your mind on your work. Why, Mr. Edwards, you shouldn't be here. Your orders were not to show yourself outside your bungalow. I know, I know. But I'm not a prisoner. I'm here to get my model from Major Steele. I insist upon it. But just a minute, sir. Major Steele isn't here, and the model is locked in the vault. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you're ill, sir. I'll get a doctor. No, no. Get someone to take me home. You were right. I shouldn't have come. Take me home, please. Alan, you'll have to take Mr. Edwards home. All right, Lieutenant. I'll be glad to help. I'll have him there in the jiffy. Come on. Get set, Slim. They fell for it. I assure you, Mr. Edwards, we're nearing the end of the trail. Please be patient. You've been telling me that all along, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There, there, Dad. He'll be all right. I've explained everything. Fine. Well, I must hurry along. Major Steele's waiting for me. I'll keep in touch. Don't leave him alone for a minute. Don't worry. There'll be two of us here all the time. Good. There's the captain now, just leaving the house. Shall I catch him for you? No, no. It doesn't matter. I'm too ill. Take me home. Here we are, Mr. Edwards. Wait. Don't take me in. It'll only frighten my daughter. Are you sure you'll be all right? Oh, quite all right. Thank you. Give me that towel, quick. All right? Oh, perfect. Now, I set the stage for you. All you have to do is deliver. Now, go and bring both of them. It's a cinch. Come on, boys. Hello, Lieutenant. Oh, Captain. I have good news. Major Steele has gone to pick up Chuck. Well, that is good news. Say, hey, that's great news. I knew they couldn't hurt that pie face. He's tough. <laughs> well, would you like to wait in Major Steele's office, Captain? They should be here shortly. Thanks, Lieutenant. Come on, Eggy. Now we can relax. Gosh, old lady fingers. Things is picking up. We're a cinch now. They won't try anything with these two as hostages. I'm taking no chances. We'll be prepared for them if they do try anything. Slim, step on it. Hiya, Cap. Gee, it's good to see you again. Did they treat you rough? <laughs> well, not rough enough. I managed to get away. Uh, you did a great job, Captain. He can lead us right to the spot. Oh, Chuck, <laughs> old boy, put her there. You're a hero. <laughs> now we can raid the place in full force so that none of the gang can escape. It'll take a lot of men, but we've got them this time. <laughs> Hello, Major Steele. What? We didn't have a chance, Major. They shot without a warning. Weren't you able to follow them or see the direction they took? No chance to follow. We were out cold. All right, stay there. I'll send an ambulance. Now what's the matter? Well, I've got Edwards and Joyce again. But they won't have them for long. We'll attack at once. Wait a minute, Major. That's impossible right now. It'd bring certain death to them. We'll have to wait. I've followed your advice up to now against my own judgment. Allowed you to have your own way. Chuck knows where that hideout is, and we're attacking in force. But they'll kill them both if you do. Then they must die in the line of duty. 
For the sake of the country, that gang must be destroyed. I'm sorry, Captain. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, we're organizing a raiding squad at once. These are the orders. Round up all operatives in the district. Cars to carry them. Load them with tear gas, machine guns, and everything necessary for a siege. Now see how quickly you can carry out my orders. Where's the captain and Chuck? Who? You heard what I said. Where'd they go? You got me there, Mage. They disappeared just like that. And you will decode your plans of the rangefinder for me, or I'll destroy you and your plans too. Then the government can never benefit from it. And neither will you. I'll do nothing to help you hinder the defense of my country. Ha! <laughs> Patriotic boss! So you won't ask your father to talk, huh? No, I won't. Thanks. I just wanted to hear your voice again. Gag or swim. We'll see if you love your country more than your daughter. Stop! Stop! I can't stand anymore! Don't torture me! Stop them! Stop them! I'll do anything you ask, only don't let them hurt my daughter. I thought you would. Mark Bell, tell them to proceed no further with the girl unless Mr. Edwards fails in his task. Come on, Barman, get him to the desk. All right, Edwards. Get him there. Come on, hurry. There are two ways in. The mine shaft and that secret gate over there. Either way leads to their meeting room. It's around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. You stay here on guard. If you hear a shot, come on the run. Midnight's in the tunnels now. We've taken one of these stooges. Excellent. Good. We're waiting for him. Any orders? We'll get a bomber ready and stand by. As soon as my job is finished, we're leaving this place. All of us. Right. Said to roll out a bomber for a getaway. Spotter. Yes, sir. Take Edwards out to join his daughter in Fury. Guard them well. Wait for me. Come on, Edwards. Midnight is in the passages. What? what? Now remember, I'm letting him in here, but you're not to kill him. I want to finish him my way. You better let us bump fast. You, you know do as I say. Martell, have you fixed everything? All ready. Just throw that switch and everything starts. All right. Now, two of you take that out. I don't want to ruin it. The rest of you come with me.
screaming, their motors churning. Will Fury Shark and her father's men be able to escape the law? You can't afford to miss Scourge of Revenge, next week's dynamic chapter of Captain Midnight.